Hey guys, Nurse Mike here and welcome to SimpleNursing.com. Check out our brand new app and get access to our new pharmacology and med surge mastery courses. Join for free. Click the link in our description below. All right guys, let's begin. Now for our anti-inflammatory agents, our SLAM team, we have S for steroids, which decreases the swelling, ending in zone like beclomethazone. Now the key points to know for the exam are the four S's of steroids. The first S is for swelling and inflammation. Cortico inhalers reduce the swelling directly in the respiratory system. So beclomethazone, fluticasone, and methylprednisolone. Guys, Sulimedrol is the brand name. Now by comparison, glucocorticoid steroids are for total body swelling. So like prednisone, dexamethasone, and even hydrocortisone. So we say B for beclomethazone decreases the B bronchi, or basically the lungs. And P for prednisone decreases swelling in the P for person. Now for patient education, we use S for slow onset. Guys, this is not a rescue drug. So do not use zones for the first sign of acute asthma attack. They're used third in line. Now that's a common test question and it's commonly gotten wrong. So NCLEX keyword here, do not use fluticasone or selimetrol for the first sign of acute asthma attack. And guys, selimetrol, yes, it's a beta-2 agonist, but this is just here to remind you not to use those. So we use AIM for acute attack. A for albuterol, that's the first drug we use, first in line for brutal asthma attacks. I for hypertropium, always use second. And M for methylprednisolone, brand name Sulimetrol. Our steroids always last since steroids act slow. And guys, a big test tip here, do not emit steroids even if albuterol works. We always use these three in a sequence. Now for the top two side effects, S for sugar increased. So think steroids naturally increase the sugar. Or just think glucocorticoids naturally increase the glucose. Guys, this is completely normal, so there's no need to report to the doctor or HCP. This is an expected finding. Now S for sores in the mouth, basically infection. So just think steroids suppress the immune system, leading to slow wound healing and sores in the mouth. Always a common exam question is who's most at risk for infection? And guys, it's usually a patient on zone steroids. Now the big key points to write down, use spacers to prevent oral thrush or basically candida, the oral infection in the mouth. So we teach patients to rinse the mouth after each use. And big one here, do not swallow the water. Always wash mouthpieces out with warm water. And guys, daily for steroids, not weekly. Weekly is for albuterol. So just think steroid inhalers go right in the sink after use. Now the next drug. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right guys, see you next time.